now the latest on August 30th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. The main feature around the world is quite clearly Hurricane Dorian in the Western Atlantic. Tropical depression Podal is weakening in Indochina today. It's day 242 of the year so far, 50 storms have formed to this date. Day 91 of Atlantic hurricane season, Dorian is the only feature but it is a very large feature and growing even more in the eastern Pacific, day 108 of the hurricane season and it's dead quiet there right now. In the western Pacific, Podol is active as well as two invests, 91W near the Philippines and 90W near the international dateline. In the southern hemisphere, nothing's really going on here at this time either, it's all quiet again too. So the only real feature is Hurricane Dorian today. Winds were estimating of 90 miles per hour and a pressure of 986 millibars. There's its location, um, which is way towards the north of Federico now, 233 miles from Coburn Town on the Turks and Caicos Islands, 22.9 north, 67.9 degrees west. The storm is expected to travel towards the northwest and intensify over the course of Friday and possibly become a major hurricane before our depiction here on Saturday. And then by Sunday it moves through towards Florida where it will make landfall on Monday as a Category 4 is what we're expecting at the moment and that's what the National Hurricane Center is saying as well on their forecast right now. Still a lot could change with it and here is Dorian on the satellite imagery this evening. Wind shear amounts starting to rise quite a bit but relative humidity is getting a little bit better as it filters out some more dry air. I think it's going to have a decent night tonight and we'll probably see some intensification occur overnight uh, until tomorrow morning at least. So there's the wider picture of the North Atlantic right now. Dorian is there. Um, after that, you'll be looking towards the coast of Africa because a few models are indicating new developments off the African coast in the first week of September. But I think Dorian will keep us more than occupied for the time being as there are many areas under big threat from this storm over the next five days. The Gulf of Mexico looking very quiet here. You can see thunderstorms blowing up though in Cuba and Florida right now. The Eastern Pacific, as I alluded to, is absolutely really quiet. Um, nothing really going on at all. The Eastern Pacific is running quite a bit below average at the moment, although there are two areas of interest there on the western part of the ocean. Uh, one of them is actually 90W. You know, it is crossing onto the other screen there in the Western Pacific. 90W there on the right hand side of the screen, not looking too bad, although model guidance, model consensus seems to have fallen a bit for it. 91W off the Philippines, that one could form into a uh, rather disorganized system, much like Podal was, and Podal is reaching the end of its life now as it moves inland over Vietnam. It is a big rainmaker though. Australia and South Pacific looks like this right now. Not too much going on here. Some flare-ups occurring over the Solomon Islands and over Vanuatu. The Indian Ocean, you get a better look actually of Podal there moving through Indochina. Uh, a lot of thunderstorms occurring over parts of Laos and Thailand right now as well. The remnants of the system will move into the Bay of Bengal. The sea surface temperatures look like this right now off the eastern Pacific coast, 28 or 29 degrees, up to 30 plus actually off, off the coast of Mexico there. Um, the Gulf of Mexico also very warm, 30 degrees plus, and a warm spot off the southwestern part of Florida. Uh, ahead of Dorian, sea surface temperatures 28 or 29 easily. Sea surface temperatures will never be an issue for that storm. The Indian Ocean looking fairly warm, 28 plus, and the western Pacific has still its hot spot in the Gulf of Tonkin. Elsewhere, it's generally very warm 28 degrees Celsius extending all the way as far north as Japan um, and towards the central Pacific there where 90W is extremely warm there too. Looking at floater imagery of tropical depression Podal once again looking more closer up now you can see how the center of the system looks like it's just moved inland over Vietnam but a lot of that convection is really displaced towards the south and southwest blowing up massive amounts of rain which could deliver 450 millimeters of rainfall over the area. 
And this is Hurricane Dorian right now on the GeoColor imagery. You can see how it's been progressing in the last few frames. The eye looks to be starting to come out again on the most, most recent images as nighttime falls. So we'll see whether that continues and if it does then maybe it is well on its way to becoming that major hurricane that the National Hurricane Center is predicting. So uh, the next name in the Atlantic will be Fernand, and the next name on the naming list there. The Eastern Pacific's next name is Juliet. The Central Pacific is looking out for Akoni. In the Western Pacific, we're looking out for our next name there too, Ling Ling, followed by Kajiki if both of those invests form. And in the North Indian Ocean on list 8, Hicha is next up. You can follow Force 13 on any of its outlets. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter. Search Force 13 all in text. The website Force13.com and on our YouTube page. Subscribe if you haven't so far on there as well. That's all for now. We'll have more regular updates on Dorian across the channel over the next 24 hours. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.